So with the NFC vulnerabilities, like your ability to open a browser using NFC technology, does that same ability extend to using Bluetooth beacons? Um, Bluetooth is, is actually a lot harder, um, and um, you know it's a pairing technology, so you actually have to accept um, the um, uh, the device you're connecting to, um, or be listening uh, in discovery mode. Um, so in Bluetooth, um, th there were some early attacks. I remember in the 2006 time frame, on at the time Symbian devices, we really hadn't seen much since then, um, because um, the the, the um, sort of default let's open everything and connect to everything uh, capability has been shut down. Um, so today, you know, if there are Bluetooth Bluetooth attacks, I would pretty much expect them to be at a much lower level, um, attacking the driver or the, or, the, or the firmware itself. So with the, with the new Bluetooth technology coming out, though, don't you, do you have to go through that paying process? I thought that you didn't have to necessarily do that in each instance. You just switched Bluetooth on it. Um, I'm not sure about that. I haven't looked at the, at the latest standard yet. Okay. Because we're looking at a technology that allows Bluetooth to uh, um, monitor an individual's location perhaps, as an approach. Right. And we're leveraging that. But I, don't, I still don't think you can just start, uh, download anything to the device and, and just open it up. Okay. Uh, so um, that's really the, was the issue with, with NFC is that you're accepting sort of unvalidated input and just blindly um, uh, going to that website. So I, I don't believe um, you can do that with Bluetooth.